That is Taryn's version of flip turns. Two, one. Oh, it's a birthday. Morning, Trainiacs. Continuing on with the swimsuit testing today and we're gonna do something a little bit different. I'll explain to you up there when I can show you. Red. If all of you have noticed how when I walk down the edge of the pool like this that my beard all of a sudden turns orange and the color gets all funky and cartoonish, that's camera life problems. We have weird lights coming from up top that are a little bit green, blue paint in the water, and the contrast ends up effing with the camera. It causes Mel and I many problems every day. All right, well, we're making fun of Jeff over there. I'm gonna explain what we're doing over here. This is the tri suit, and she's got sleeves. So what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna start with the swim skin. We're gonna take the suit, shove everything down into the swim skin, and then I'm gonna hop out and see if while I'm wet, I can put this on fairly quickly in the race. Then, once it's on, I'm gonna see how the swim skin goes and how I can swim with the sleeves coming down and if it's tight enough. It's kind of six of one, half a dozen of the other. Neither one is an awesome option. If I want to use a sleeve tri suit, I gotta figure something out. Pat isn't here today. We're just gonna swim like 400 meters and then go for coffee. Hello! Do you want to be the lucky friend who gets to zip up my dress? One of these hours, I'll get it on. All right, hit me. You gotta get it at the top and then flip the zipper down and that locks it. Is there a little okay. Cool, thank you. All right, let's give this a try. Okay, yeah, it's sticky. I don't know how much I like this idea. I need a volunteer to do up my dress. Uh, any volunteers to do up my suit? I'll come. All right, suck in your lats. You guys are going from a dive. Apparently, we're going from a cannonball. Three minutes, I thought. 50 hard, then 50 good looking. Seeing as how everyone's gone and it's still so early because everyone's taking rest week, everyone's taking rest week, and I'm right smack dab in the middle of the taper process, I got lots of time. So let's go deal with just about every triathlete's big Achilles heel. Flip turns. Some call them tumble turn. I call them flip turns. Tumble turn people are wrong. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to do flip turns. Uh, big asterisk on that, I'm not the best at flip turns. Okay, so a flip turn starts before you even get to the wall. Coming into the wall in the last 10 meters, you've got to be thinking about the timing of your strokes because you don't want to be coming to the wall on a stroke or having to wait a long time between your last stroke and when you hit the wall. You want your last stroke to be somewhere around two to three meters away from the wall and when you start coming into the wall, you stop your swim stroke, let a glide happen, and let your arms just fall down by your hips. They shouldn't be up by your hands because that's gonna be more drag that you've gotta push down as you're doing the flip turn. So as you're coming into the wall, basically just horizontal floating on your stomach, you then start the flip turn, you fold your midsection down, think about it like this. How's that? That's pretty good. Think about just folding your midsection down like that and rolling. And you wanna do it fairly quickly so that you've got a lot of momentum to kick your legs over. And right as you start folding your midsection down, give your legs a little whip kick to get the turn happening and then turn from your core as fast as you can. It all comes from the core. It's not really much from the hand. Your arms really shouldn't be doing anything. I am awful for that. I got a chicken wing of a right arm, which wants to go like this. Because your arms are down at your hips, 
as you do the flip turn, if you just leave them there and kind of let them dangle, they will then end up over your head when you come back. And you can start learning how to flip turn by only getting yourself to the point that you are flipping and facing completely up. So just make it a flip at the start and push off in like a backstroke position. Then as you start getting more comfortable, your legs start hitting the wall more often, you can start adding just a little turn that once your feet hit the wall, you turn your body slightly. Something that you should know about it is it takes a lot of practice to get good at it. It's kind of like when you learn how to breathe every three strokes instead of every two. Maybe it took months or a year to get to the point that that felt comfortable. That's what flip turns are gonna be like. And the harder the swim you're doing, the harder it's gonna be to flip turn typically. I still have a hard time flip turning throughout an entire 400 meter set. So yeah, that's flip turning. I might as well tell you about what I've decided on with the hoop suit instead of just leaving you dangling in suspense. I think I'm gonna go with tucking the tri suit into the swim skin, just making sure that the sleeves are pulled out the right way and not turned in because as I was swimming with the sleeves out, this would flap a little bit. It's kind of pointless to have this super duper fancy swim skin reducing my drag while I'm creating drag there. I'll just try to get the hang of putting this on when it's a little bit wet before the race. Oh, and by the way, how about you guys finding the Strava group that I created three days ago before I even announced it on the vlog? You're into this. I like the hustle, folks, I like it. And now, that's it. Because I am smack dab in the middle of taper processing. Taper processing? 1300 meters? I'm done, that's it. Kids are, oh, it's a birthday. All right, I'm competing with them. They're more fun than I am, see ya.